Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgy, and this is a blaze my sorrow, he says, looking down. Not because I'd forgotten what they were called, but because I thought I was going to say it wrong. Um, a blaze my sorrow, a song called Black Waters. Um, off this album. This album's due out very soon, the 12th of February. So, very, 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 very soon. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure, but this is on, I'm not sure how how I know about this band, but it's on Black Lion Records, and Black Lion Records have sent me a few emails, so I suspect that the record company literally told me about this themselves. Um, it's melodic death metal they're described as. I haven't heard this, so I'm just going to get straight on with it. Like I say, A Blaze My Sorrow album, Amongst Ashes and Monoliths. I know you can see it right there, but I can't really see it right there. So, let's um, let's just get on with it, and then we can talk about it afterwards. He says, oh, I've got a problem with my screen. No change there, then. Run! 
going to talk about his voice first. When he was singing the cleans, he sounded like he had that kind of nasal equality that I associate with English folk singers who tend to have one finger stuck in one ear going and you get that sort of thing. Um, it, and it was, if anything, it was like a nice change. <laughs> it was like, oh, that's an interesting voice, you know. And when he did his deep, because he had like also two growly voices, didn't he? But when he did his deep growl, he reminded me of, he reminded me of, he says, pausing the video. He says, unpausing the video, dark tranquility. And that, when you're sat here and you're doing this, right, and you, whenever you reach for a name or something like that, as soon as you go to say it, it disappears out of your head and it will not come back. <laughs> I'm just telling you. So uh, yeah, he had, the, he had the dark tranquility voice when he was doing his deep growls. And then he had that sort of higher growl, mid-range growl kind of thing, which sounded a, a little uh, like it hurt to do. You know, it had the like, ah, ah, kind of thing to it. So yeah, the vocals I found a little bit intriguing. Not, not the words, just his singing. Um, yeah, interesting. So, but musically, yeah, cool. I keep saying this, clear. I think I should probably stop saying this and just start expecting great production because I keep hearing great production and clearly, you know, this this far into the 21st century, I guess production has more or less been nailed as long as you're not doing it yourself in your downstairs loo, you know, because just, production on that sounded great. Um, and it's nice and heavy and it, it's it's not very long. I could have done with that song being longer, to be honest. Um, and there's clearly an industry for distinguished-looking older gentlemen looking mournfully at, at cups and cafes. Because I think I think you could make a career out of that in in certain circles. Uh, and you could just get hired to turn up in everyone's video and go. So, I'm just having fun at your expense. That sounded really good. I'd be interested to hear more off this album. I don't know if there are more songs by them released on YouTube or whatever, but uh, no doubt you can listen to a few Spotify or somewhere, though I always encourage people, if they like something, buy it. Buy the album, buy it from wherever, Bandcamp, or wherever, because the, frankly, the, I, I should do a video on how much people make out of streaming services because it's pitiful. Um, so yeah, if you want to support a band, buy it. Um, it says here it's available on CD, no surprise there, LP, no surprise there anymore, it's made such a comeback, digital, of course, and tape, tape. Tape. <laughs> you can buy it on tape. I'm going to keep saying tape until the word becomes meaningless. What? I wouldn't. I have. I have not had a device for playing a tape for so long. I. I mean, years and years and years. Is tape? Please tell me tape's not coming back. I mean, I. I don't think vinyl should have come back, but tape. A Blaze My Sorrow, a song called Black Waters, of this album amongst ashes and monoliths. I always pause there because it's very, very tiny on a screen there and I have to kind of focus on it. Yeah, amongst ashes and monoliths. Out February the 12th, so literally it's out now-ish. Um, buy it if you like it. Let me know what you think. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.